Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for September 11th through the 18th. This is for the sign of Cancer. I have already shuffled these. That one came right out. I shuffled them with the bridge three times. Um, oh, look at that. Son of a gun. Couple nice cards falling out of the deck. Beautiful. Reminiscing about the past is the first card. And the second card is happiness and happy family life. You know. Ooh. You know, uh, when I saw that happy family life, I was thinking, doesn't mean that everything is all peachy. <laughs> but I was going to wait, see what else came up. I'm not sure everything is all peachy. Um, <laughs> so we have a 10 here and we have a 10 here. Those are completions, all right? So, and it, but this, there could be an ending of something. Could have already happened, could be in the works, could be on your mind. Um, but there's, there's uh, an ending possibly to, you know, a situation in your family life. There could be an ending, okay? Um, looks like you have your guard up over the situation. I'm not sure what it is. You have your guard up. I think you're ignoring a situation. We have this completion right down here as well. There's the truth of something is going to come out, all right, which is going to force you to make a decision. There is. I mean, this, these are all swords right here, and it, it causes you to leave something behind or somebody to leave you behind, all right? That's all there is to it. And this could be emotionally. could have already happened for some of you. Okay, but it does lead to your wishes being fulfilled. So I'm not sure what this is. This is you. We also have another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be in the picture. We have Aquarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, so far. You do have to let go of something. Because it's causing you a lot of conflicts. It's causing a lot of tension. Something has to be let go of. There's no doubt with this hangman. There's no doubt something you've just been sticking around, hanging around, waiting for something to happen, not really um, taking a stand, resisting change, even though you're conflicted about it. It could be affecting your job. You could be burying yourself in your job, you know, because you don't, something has ended and you don't, and it hurt really bad, or you're thinking about something ending and it's going to hurt really bad. Okay, but you know the truth of the situation because this woman, she knows the truth, all right? Um, and this is a man or a woman, so don't, don't even worry about that. But it does, I see a lot of... Um, There's like some kind of uh, satisfaction from all this. And I'm not sure what it is. It's like, I don't know. There's definitely satisfaction, um, happiness that comes out of this. You know what I mean? Where there's like fulfillment from this. Fulfillment from an ending of some sort that you've been waiting for or... Um, it leads to your wishes being fulfilled, whatever it is. It leads to your wishes being fulfilled. 
and I see that you're working a lot. This is a week of work, 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 as usual. Um, but it is also a week of change. Another step closer to leaving something behind that you cannot ignore anymore. Okay? That you cannot ignore. Hmm. You know? This is reminiscing about the past. can also be some, somebody from the past who caused you to be on your defensive, you know, and caused a little bit of chaos in your life. But now it's over and you're moving. Maybe you're moving towards somebody else. I mean, you could be moving towards another person. Maybe you're leaving somebody behind and moving towards another person because this could also be you. You know, you could be headed in another direction away from somebody. Um, this may or may not resonate with everybody. Just saying. Bits might resonate over here and not over here. You just never know. Um, you're definitely... There's a stalemate right now because it seems like you're, you are ignoring something or... Yeah, you're ignoring... Maybe you're ignoring something by burying yourself in your work and it is affecting your wishes being fulfilled. Maybe that's what it is. There's definitely some disappointment, that's for darn sure. Definitely some disappointment and despair and hurt and like really bad. Like if something is over, something is definitely over. I'm not sure what it is because I mean, we have the two tens. Oh, this same card. Oh, and this one, these two are the same card. We don't have this one twice. Oh, so there's, there you are, there you are. This is a Capricorn, this is a Pisces, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. You have basically all the signs here, so it could be anybody. Um, there's something going on behind the scenes. There's some kind of secret. There's some kind of secret that is causing some conflicts. Seriously. But the thing is, is you, it's not really a secret because you know. You know what it is, and it's causing you some see, it's causing you some conflict, and you've been restraining yourself, you know, and just sitting back and waiting for the perfect time to blow, you know, and you're it's whatever, you know. Um, but hmm, I think there's been some maybe there's been some manipulation. There could be some addictions. Uh, there's definitely been some. Um, What's the word? Opinionated uh, voicing of feelings. <laughs> yeah, I think there's been some pretty... Um, there's been a lot of communication between you and somebody. And it hasn't been pretty. Okay? Because, like, you know, that, that's the way it is. It's been very to the point. It's hurt. All right. Hmm. And you know, maybe you're thinking about somebody from the past. Or maybe somebody from the past is returning to your life. You know, that that definitely could be it. That could be it. That's why I say I think you might be leaving something behind, even if it's emotionally, and going with somebody else. Maybe somebody from your past. Or somebody new. But it could definitely be somebody from your past. Um, I see that there's, uh, there's forward movement, there's victory, there's changes, De definitely some big changes on the horizon for you. Big, big, big. I think there's an attraction between you and somebody that is um, very magnetic. Look at that. I mean, the chariot, the devil, and the moon all right here. There's so much. I mean, it's like karma. 
It is. It's, there's karma here in your life. This is there's been like a karmic debt that is being paid off or something. Anyway, I see you moving forward with um, a very good outcome. Something big is on the on the horizon. I mean, this is a major change, and it's your card, and this is the end of something. I mean, it, it's just the way it is. The end is something big is over. I mean, that was it's a part of your life that is done, and you're moving on from it. There's no doubt about it. All right, and you might be moving away from somebody that, you know, there was an obsession with or there was an addiction to or, you know, the sex was great. All right, because there's carnal desires in that devil card. And there's a very, and then with this card right next to it, there's a lot of like euphoric uh, energy. So, um, you know, the attraction was great. So that's the conflict. It's so hard to let that go. I think that's what it is. But that's a karmic debt. And like I said, I think there could be somebody new from the past. I do. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is somebody from, this is the sixes of cups twice, somebody from your past. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Hmm. Ooh. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. I don't know how that falls into play. Hopefully you do. That card came up for a reason. Maybe you want to get married. Maybe the other person wanted to get married and you didn't want to get married. Maybe you're looking for marriage. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Maybe your ex is holding you back from a wedding in the future. And this week is about doing this. Because this is the basis of the reading. The bottom of the deck. Sometimes I usually don't use them. I look at them sometimes. That's darn good energy, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's not good energy. It's not. But, anyway, that is what I have for you, Cancer. <laughs>